live from Rocco's Tavern. It's straight off the menu. Ah, <laughs> good job. All right. Yay. <laughs> Woo. It's straight off the menu. I'm Peter Dills. And I'm Mike Bingley. We have a action-packed show for the next half oh, hour. Oh, yes, we do. Mike Bingley, I think this is going to be our best show ever. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Are you okay. too far away from me? Get, did I... Uh, did my fingers snap? No, Come it's on, no. no, it's I, I, you have that cheese thing going on. Ah. So you know, I just thought I'd uh, sit over here. You know, but that's okay. A little bit later in the show, we're going to have Michael Higgins. He's a PhD. You know what that is? Yes, I certainly do. What is it? Uh, PhD. has got a doctorate. Yeah. Anyway, he wrote a book. Believe me, I know what a PhD is. <laughs> I, I uh, appreciate anybody that's gone through that rigmarole. He wrote okay. a book called Exploring Wine Regions, Argentina, and we're going to find out everything. He how he wrote a book about wines in Argentina and why he selected Argentina. <laughs> I'm, sure the, I'm sure the wines are great, but we have been doing some reviewing of our own the last couple weeks. Yeah, we have. Hey, Mike, do you like wine? I love wine. What's I your favorite wine? wine? Uh, Thunderbird. Thunderbird? Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't think that our guest knows exactly what Thunderbird is, but... It's uh, American tradition. He wine. did write a book, uh, Gina. Maybe you could show the cover of the book right now. Uh, Michael Higgins is a PhD. I think he's a Pasadena resident. And he is our guest today. And he wrote a book called Exploring Wine Regions, Argentina. So uh, Mike, why don't you mic him up? Yeah, we'll sit right down, the three of us will sit, and we'll talk about wine for the next yeah, there we go. 10 minutes. Thank you. That right under there, and we'll just- Should be good? Yeah. So uh, go ahead, Gina, let's see his Mike Higgins smiling face. This is Mike Higgins, he is the author and written and photographed all of the, uh, well, we already showed the, go ahead and do it again. Well, we already showed the uh, picture of the, uh, the book. So, exploring wine, wine regions, journey through Argentina, uh, a pinnacle, pinnacle, I was gonna say pinnacle peak, pinnacle <laughs> beat. That's the pinnacle book achievement award. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so why wine, what's your passion? Michael Higgins, PhD, how do you go from that to being a, a wine writer? I love wine. I'm impassioned about wine. And in Pasadena, with all these restaurants having Malbec, mm -hmm. I was tasting so much Malbec that I wanted to know why it was always so good. So I went to Argentina for five weeks to find out why. I know this is not on our notes, but how did you fund a book to go to Argentina? I mean, was it something that was a collaboration with the Argentinian Wine Society, or did you just say, I think they have the best wines. I want to find out exactly how they do the wines. Well, I've been in the publishing business for over 20 years, publishing magazines, okay. lifestyle travel magazines, which is how I got introduced to wine and wine regions. And so I took off down there thinking I was going to do a story for my magazine, and yet ended up spending five weeks, which was much bigger than a story, went back for a second five weeks, then went back for a third time for three weeks, in order to compile all the photographs, go to the top three wine regions in Argentina. And those are? Mendoza, Salta, okay. and Patagonia. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't normally think of Patagonia for, for wine regions. This is not where the penguins are either. <laughs> <laughs> this is at the north end of Patagonia. It's a cooler environment. It's good for the Pinot Noirs. Patagonia. They make really good Pinot Noir. And since you like sparkling wine. I do. It's a cooler area. They're, they're producing a lot of sparkling wine down there. And, and, and I want to get my co-host Mike here involved in this. Well, you know, uh, you have some really fun places you stay down in Argentina, and I, I believe that's in the book, if I'm not mistaken. You're right. So I, I have not looked at the book. I'm, I'm really green here on this, but Peter just kind of gave me a little... Uh, uh, there's the uh, overview. Uh, I, I will. Oh, there and, you go. There you and go. There's lots of photos, and when you talk about great places to stay, favorites. Give me, give me oh a couple of your favorites. You got to give me well, uh, the, at least the, the top three. Oh my gosh. Okay. So right here, this is just an unbelievable place to stay. When you see this picture, you will want to be there right away. I should just be able to turn. There it is. Look at that. Oh that wow. That is your room. Oh wow. Really? Yes. Oh. I, I don't know if you can. I, I don't know if that Give can. Give it a shot. Yeah, yeah, there you go. How do I? Yeah, there you go. That is your room. Right That's there. your room. Look at that. That's one yeah. hotel room. And not only are you in this vineyard, where you have this incredible Andes landscape behind you, but you see this chimney? That is a chimney. 
you can actually sleep out on top. They'll make a bed for you there, serve you food, make a fire. You could watch the stars all night. Now, are these interior shots? Interior shots. Look at how beautiful it is. Oh. God, I wish we had pictures of those, but maybe next time we'll get yeah. pictures up there. Oh, wow. Wow. And where is this now? Where exactly, what city is so this, this in? So is, this is in Mendoza. Mendoza, okay. Yes. And then maybe a contrast to this, because this is pretty fancy, is um, just staying above a winery. You know where wow. they got a couple of rooms? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the Stalba, which is not far from here. We got it. Why don't Why don't you uh, throw up some of those pictures, Gina, so Mike can also um, get, give us the play-by-play, -play, the ones, the man in the vineyard, the vineyard, the, the, vineyard, the uh, wine barrels on the there stage. There we go. There's this vineyard. Now, what do we got yeah. there? Oh my gosh, this is picking the grapes. And and where and, is this? What so, city is this? So this is in uh, uh, Tunisian. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, Mendoza is a city and it's also a state. I got you. So okay. one of the wine regions is Valle de Uco, which is where this is. And uh, you know, they told me if I wanted lunch, I needed to work. So I got out there and picked grapes. Was that you? Oh, wow. That's me. Can you compare the region of, in Argentina, any of the regions to something that we would find here in California? You know, uh, I, was, I just was listening to this commercial this morning about the fog and the cool, the cool nights and the picking of the grapes at night. Are any of the regions in Argentina similar to what we might find in California? They're not at all. And they're not similar to other places in the world like France or Italy either. Be because we have this coastal ocean, right, that affects yes, us, it right. affects Chile, it affects France, it affects Spain, I mean, it's, it affects Italy. They don't have that. They're up against the Andes. Mm -hmm. It's desert. It's high elevation. So Mendoza, it's typically, like here, that's like 3,000 foot elevation. Wow. You can see the Andes in the background, and that, that, that's snow in the middle of summer. Okay. And the reason why this works is because of that snow. They get fresh snow melt water which is where the irrigation comes. And because it's a desert, they get the hot days, they get the cold nights, which is what wine grapes absolutely love. Now, I, and then the during, and when is summer in, in Argentina? So it's the opposite. So like that picture was uh, March. Okay. Yep, so March is our September. Our October is their April, that's the harvest time. And we got any other pictures? So you, sp you okay. Oh my gosh, so you know I have to tell you about this, so this is also Mendoza. Do you see that piano? I do. Yes. Okay, yes. so Jose Galante is the winemaker at this winery, and he believes in that piano because he hires a pianist to come and play classical music wow. because he believes the vibration of classical music ages the wine to perfection. Well, and I have you, and never heard anything like that And when you before. taste it, you, you, you can't argue with them because it's really good. T tell, um, you wrote a book on wine, and you, obviously in my notes here, Wine Lover. Um, but tell us about the cuisine down there. Wow. Asado. Wow. I like that word, wow. Asado. Asado. Wow. Asado. I'm going to show you a picture right here, oh, and then you're, you're going to say wow also. Because asado is the way they, they grow their cows and do their beef. Look oh at that. My What's the goodness. currency? Oh What's the gosh. currency in Argentina? It's a peso. It's, it's an peso. Argentina oh, peso. Yeah. Look at look at that. Oh look at that. Look at oh, that. Oh my that, gosh. Isn't that something? And then look at what, how they cook this. Now let's come on. I have been to Malbec here in Pasadena. The food doesn't look like that. And this is not to slam them. That food you have in the book, it looks it's, incredible. It's so delicious. Mike, I, look I at that. It. Oh, oh, oh I mean, look at, come on. Uh, yeah. Oh, I know, I know. Oh. Are, are there seven or six there? It's a joke between Mike and I. <laughs> yeah. There's supposed to be seven. Tell him it's yeah. seven. Yeah, I seven. Seven. <laughs> seven. Seven, seven, six, seven, yeah. It's not, it's not Robin's uh, rib place in uh, our... Yeah, where they take They cook away. everything on wood, uh -huh. especially in the wine region. They're using grape wood because you need a hard wood. Ooh. And this is how they cook all of this. And you brought your camera, obviously. You took, yes. Did you take every single picture in All this book? All these pictures. How many pictures, how many photographs are in this book? 565. Where does our viewers, we're on Facebook right now live on okay. Monday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this Friday morning we're going to be live on uh, AT&T and Charter on channel 32 and 99. And then yep. Spectrum, yep. we've we got four minutes left. We've got Spectrum on Saturdays and Sundays. Where do, where do our viewers buy the book? And I might, if I may interject, if any of our, it'd be easy for me to say, any of our viewers have any questions, please chime in. We'll be glad to yeah, answer. Yeah, about them. Argentina. Yeah. That's what we're talking about right now with Michael Higgins. And, and I wanted to get this out before we run out of time. How affordable is it in Argentina to stay, to eat, and drink? Incredibly affordable. Wow. 
you can go out, all three of us could go out, have steaks, dinner, bottle of wine, we're gonna spend 20, 30, 40 bucks. Get out of town. It's like amazing. Are you well, serious? It's so good. Wow. Take right the, when you take, cut, are, are we leaving take now? Take the phones <laughs> off. Let's go. Let's go. Right my car's across the street. Mike, you know? Mike said, that's my budget. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's our kind of budget. Son of a gun. Yeah. You know, wow. Yeah. Not that, to, that's for all three of us, not each. Argentina. Hey, yeah. Uh, you've been to Norway or Sweden. I'm not going to belabor this because I talk about this too much. Have you been to Norway or Sweden? I have not. Everything you just said is one beer in, oh in, in Sweden. Wow. It's, anyway, so I, I in think Pasadena. Most people here are Pasadena watching this. Vroman's uh, bookstore Long is a place Beach, to get Pasadena, the book. Okay. You mentioned Malbec. Mm -hmm. The Malbec restaurant carries the book. Okay. And they carry it not only here, but also in their Toluca Lake and also Santa Monica. Okay. And then um, uh, Distant Lands, it's, a, it's, a, right. it's, it's here in old Pasadena. It's mm -hmm. a travel store. They carry the book. Flint and Ridge uh, Books up in La Cañada. Okay. And also down in South Pasadena, Mission Wines. Why not on Amazon yet, my and friend? And it's on Amazon. Yeah. It's right. at Barnes & Noble. I was giving you local people. Okay. Well, you can I can come. use this as a guide then. Uh, it's a perfect you know. guide. The, okay, that's, yeah, that's we'll, it. Yeah, we're going to bring it. this with us and go, I want to go there. Yeah. yeah. You know what I did in this book? I give you the inside scoop. I tell you the people, their phone numbers, their email addresses, really? how to reach them, where they're located. It's an insider's guide to to Argentina. I don't think I've ever heard of anything like that. I think that is that's yeah. just so cool, isn't yeah. it, Peter? He's brought yeah. books back to uh, a popularity. Wow. That's for sure. And the book's only thirty-five bucks for this beautiful book. It's I mean it's a great gift for mm -hmm. the holidays. Oh yeah. And Argentina. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, Michael Higgins, good job. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, that's really exciting, and congratulations. Michael Higgins, Argentina, exploring wine regions. Anything else? I mean, we, are we thinking of another? Ah, I'm doing the Ooh, top 11 wine countries of the world. Are you going to visit all If you Are you going to visit all 11? Uh, someone's got to do it. <laughs> ah, there you and go. And people think we there have go. good jobs. Yeah. Yes, and yeah. California is my next country. Okay. Have you heard of that country? Yeah, I, yeah, Mike, yeah, Mike and I can, we, we, we got an about, RV and, and uh, yeah. yes. you know, we can follow you around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it'll be California and Spain, Italy, France, Australia, South Africa. Each one will be its own book. He's Michael Higgins. I'm Peter Dills. And I'm Mike Bingley. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in to Straight Off the Menu. Again, thank you to Rocco's Tavern here in Pasadena. They just opened up a new one in Westwood. If you're in the Westwood area, check out their new restaurant. Uh, but next week, we'll be back. Well, I don't know how we're going to top this one, Mike, but we are, we'll be now. Straight <laughs> off the yeah, menu. It's contagious, isn't it? <laughs> so anyway, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yeah, thank you.